Talk about the gunfighter performance formula. It's nothing crazy. This is a uh, kind of extension of the move, fight, recover. Move, fight, recover is just a simple way to think about the four coactive model. Got another video on this uh, if you want to check out more of it. Um, <clears throat> but let's get into the performance formula. So the basic formula is going to be based around two paths. The first one is getting back in the fight which first we have to ask, are you beat up or are you broken? If you're broken, you need to go see a medical provider first and get you either return to duty or return to return to sport, whatever your activity is. Um, but if you're just beat up, you got some mileage, perfectly fine. Uh, we'll get you back in the fight. This is also the same foundation of staying in the fight. So getting back in the fight, staying in the fight, or the foundation of all training. Once we've achieved that, we'll move into performance. Some of you will move directly there depending on where you're at in life and skill and career. Um, and this is where we really uh, want to excel at the elite levels. <clears throat> so for getting back in the fight, our strategy is to move, fight, recover again, but we want to move well and often and get you out of pain. So you're going to improve your quality of life, your longevity in your career, and really just going to feel much better overall. Um, you can do that through mobility and all sorts of good stuff. The fight portion, we want to get you under 20% body fat. If you're fighting age, be in fighting shape. Um, part of it is because any other methods you try to engage in, uh, if your doctor's like, hey, let's do some testosterone replacement therapy, or you want to do nutrition protocols, um, a lot of uh, you know, supplements, stuff like that, a lot of that is just not going to work as well because your body metabolically is not efficient. So we need to get you under 20%. Uh, the goal is eight to 12%. We can, we can kind of flex a little bit, uh, in either direction. It's kind of acceptable. Uh, but once we get you there, that's kind of the first metric we really want to hit. Um, there's different strategies to go about that. Uh, and then the recover portion we really want to focus on sleep and stress environmental management during this phase of getting back in the fight. And also, again, these are all, uh, the foundation for staying in the fight. <clears throat> Performance, uh, we've talked about this before in another video, but the performance 80% solutions, in my opinion, are to train for and play uh, rec sports, uh, team sports. It's kind of the 80%, it's gonna hit all the things, you're gonna get all the physical stuff. And again, this isn't just playing, it's training for, so you're still getting that gym stuff in there. But by having a focus, it's gonna help direct your training for one. Uh, so if you don't have a structured training program, this is a way to, to go about it because whatever sport you play will probably have a bunch of structured programs. Um, along with, the gym doesn't teach you things about um, teamwork and vision and being able to perceive where the play is gonna go or where, the, where uh, somebody else is gonna go. Like when we talk about the tactical side, the suspect, you know, how they move. Human body only moves so many ways. The more exposure you have in different variety of environments, the better your map is. Of, of human movement, uh, which allows you to predict things faster and be able to respond faster. Um, I recommend just rotating through the seasons, dividing it up into a small ball, stick, racket, or paddle sport, large ball sport, some type of locomotion, uh, and then splitting your martial arts into at least one grappling, one striking. That alone is probably going to uh, fill, your, fill your seasons up. Um, so maybe you play you know, hockey in the winter, you play baseball in the summer, or you play soccer in the fall. Um, maybe you decide to do triathlons in the spring. So just kind of mix it up a little bit and, and do those. And locomotive, you can obviously do year round too. Um, same with the martial arts. If you got one kind of on maintenance, then you can work on your rec sports. Um, so I would caution to not just get stuck in locomotive and martial arts. You really, really do need those other um, small ball, large ball type sports for the vision, the teamwork and all that other stuff. Um, next RPR level one is probably the 80% solution for injury prevention, uh, patterning, mitigating the pain. So that kind of comes, uh, off the foundation. So in the foundation level of getting back in the fight and staying in the fight, we're really working some of that RPR stuff. Um, you're most likely if you're, if you're beat up, you're probably going to know some pain mitigation. Um, most of our athletes do, most of the athletes have done RPR do, um, you're also going to reduce your injury risk, uh, pretty significantly. Um, at least that's been our experience. That's not necessarily a guarantee, but it's something that's worked for us. 
Um, next is looking at nutrition is going to be your 80% solution for holistic health management, uh, fueling performance, and kind of building that baseline of the physical coactive in the four coactive model. So that is the basic gist of the gunfighter performance formula. Again, two different routes. You've got the performance route, which you may get to right away, or you may come to later. Uh, and then we have the get medic fight route, moving well, fighting for that lower body fat and recovering well. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below.